And the last four in this group, we want to write in the form R cos X plus alpha. So we again, if we expand that out, it gives us a number that'd be some number times cos X minus some number times sine X. So where that would be R cos X, R cos alpha, and B sine, that, that sine alpha, X, alpha in front, R sine alpha in front. So we get the A and B values, which are both 1. We're able to work out R, which is square root of 1 plus 1 is root 2. And 10 F is B on A, gives us the pi on 4 again. So cos X minus sine X can be written as root 2 cos X plus pi on 4. So similarly, we go through and do the same. Take our A value, B is 1, gives us 2, and inverse 10 of 1 on root 3 is pi on 6. So we can write that statement as 2 cos x plus pi on 6. x cos x, 8 cos x minus sine x, well, 8 squared plus 1 squared gives us 65. And 1 8 inverse 10 gives us approximately 12, uh, 0.212 radians or 7 degrees. So again, if you want to write it in degrees, go, go, feel free. 5 cos x minus 3 sine x gives us root 34 for r and inverse 10 of 3 on 5 gives us 0.54 or 31 degrees so you can write like that. So there's our four four forms. Like we, we don't have an, any other ways to write those fours. So we can come back to any one of those four but again we find our value of r we're using the b on a and then we can write it in what we, whatever we want. Sine or cos of x plus or minus some angle.